Hey, Sari Torres here. Today in the Existential Crisis Corner, I will be reviewing Six Wakes by Mer Lafferty. Stay tuned. This is my review of Six Wakes by Mer Lafferty. It's in the genres of science fiction and mystery and was released in January of this year. This is a murder mystery in space on a spaceship. There's also clones. There's all this crazy shit happening, and and it's really good. Um, a plus to Mer for this really cool concept. And it's also really easy to convey just in one sentence. It's it's a good concept right there. Um, and obviously, going off this concept, there's going to be a lot more world building than you would expect from your regular run of the mill um, mystery novel. And Mer does it all really wonderfully in this. All this world building is done so well that I would almost argue that this is more of sort of a thought experiment on what the world would be like if cloning was this prevalent. And it really just kind of makes you think how much the world would change with that sort of big societal worldwide impact happening. And it doesn't just go into the scientific parts, it goes into the political aspect even the religious aspect of what people would think if you could extend your life through cloning. On top of that, you've got this spaceship and this murder mystery. So I think Mer really outdid herself with this one. It's pretty cool. Uh, the characters and their backstories are really an integral part of the novel. Um, each of their paths are kind of told lost style with like sort of a, um, a bit of a backstory, a couple pages in each chapter. Um, and there's enough holes left in their stories um, that you're still speculating you know, who could be the one who did the murder and all that crap. The characters feel very full for the most part with their own distinctive skills, origins, opinions, um, and personality types. None are really confined to stereotypes, which is really awesome. Um, and I was really super pleased on how Murr crafted a character with a physical impairment um, that she was interesting but it, it didn't just like focus on her physical impairment she was definitely a character just independently of herself and I thought she just did a fantastic job with that that's something you don't see represented a lot I think and honestly I, I felt like I got to know each of these characters so well that it was really hard narrowing suspect of the murder mystery here um, they all had their motives that you could see obviously they didn't all do it but they all had their reasons they could have done it so they're all sort of suspicious but at the same time I also sympathized with each of them for different reasons so I also didn't want any one of them to be the killer which was a really good uh, manipulating with the, with the reader there and obviously, since this is set in this futuristic world, um, there's going to be a lot more to um, to the actual murder than just a sort of smoking gun. It's a lot more complicated than that. I would say my only beef with this is there were a few characters that were essential to the plot that I feel they could have gotten a little bit more screen time, so to speak present only in flashbacks and they were talked about a lot in the flashbacks so I don't feel like I know why they did certain things that they did. Um, I would have loved more on their part of the story especially since it was so essential to the plot's conclusion and I would have liked to have seen them in person a little bit more not just in flashbacks if that makes any sense. During my read through I felt more fascination and curiosity at the goings on then I really did fear for the characters or suspicion towards any one of them. Um, and I really feel like that means it goes more into the sci-fi bucket than it does mystery, but that's what's going to happen when you blend genres. Uh, as with most genre blends, such as this, I think it's best to put your expectations of the genre on the back burner. Um, to sort of go through with this knowing that there's some sci-fi, there's some mystery, and there's some just column C that's just completely unique uh, that I really loved with this story. So just kind of go forward with it knowing that it's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting, and there's going to be a little bit of both and you're going to love it. Just let the author immerse you in this story.
I am including a link in the description to where you can purchase Six Wakes um, in both ebook and paperback. I am also including a link to MERS podcasts, I Should Be Writing, and Ditch Diggers, um, which are just both phenomenal podcasts. And if you're a writer, I very much suggest you listen to those. So this was my review for Six Wakes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. My novel, Bubblegum, is being self-published. It should be released sometime in October, so I hope you keep an eye out for that. If you could like, comment, or subscribe to this video, I would also very much appreciate that. So uh, thank you for joining me in the Existential Crisis Corner, and stay weird.